history of the Jamaican woman embodies struggle, overcoming obstacles and confronting challenges. While as a group, women are more qualified academically than men, they are yet to take their rightful place in representational politics, political leadership and the economy. Forging ahead in the process towards equality has not been easy, but through years of advocacy and leadership, progress is being made. While 63% of professionals with a degree or a diploma are women, only 43% of the labor force are women, and women make up only 28 and 13% of the upper and lower houses of parliament respectively. It is clear from the numbers that women are underrepresented at the political leadership level, despite Jamaica having its first female prime minister. Can you imagine that in the 70 years since every Jamaican earned the right to vote in 1944, that only 8% of the persons elected to parliament have been women, only 8%. It's time to change all that. It's time to recognize the full abilities, potential, and contribution of women. It's time to ensure greater equality at all levels of our society. We must increase the number of women in representation and politics, political leadership, decision making, and the economy. Jamaica is one of few countries in the world that have reached or surpassed gender equity in occupations such as senior officials and senior managers. 60% of Jamaican managers and 56% of permanent secretaries are women, but only 20% of the cabinet is represented by women. Did you know that although Jamaican women are doing well in education and at managerial levels, we're still underrepresented in academia at the professorship level, and we're really noticeably absent at the highest levels of economic decision making. That's why I support the Powerhouse Project. We really have to find a way to bring out the best of Jamaica. It's when we can truly be empowered and we really bring out our best potential that we create a better Jamaica. Our women dominate so many areas of our national life. And yet, despite these gains, our women are still challenged and underrepresented at the very top. It is time to fully recognize the abilities, potentials, and contributions of our women by encouraging the equality process in all spheres, in our organizations, in business, academia, and political representation and governance. That is why I support the I Am A Powerhouse campaign, and you should too. Gender equity is a right and gender balance in the labor market and national governance is a major engine of growth and competitiveness. It is time to organize, strengthen our efforts, and build on the progress made to remove any lingering barriers to the full empowerment of women. <laughs>